everybody Jerome 22 coming back with a quick little video here just talking about the new project I'm working on right now I wanted to crack into a new playbook but what I decided to do was make the ones that we we have already better okay and better as in if you want to jump into the playbook and start learning it I decided to make the favorite system that I always talk about if you guys don't understand favorites I'll just quickly give you a little overview and how you can use it and how I've been using it for a long time now okay so we have our base playbook here and as you go through your plays you can see the favorites um that are highlighted there they have a little and i'll highlight it for you they have the little hearts next to each name for the plays that i have listed as favorites okay so what i have done in my time is i've gone through and i've selected the plays and you can see at the very bottom of the screen it says double tap all right the the icon that you need to in order to add or remove the favorite okay so I've added all these favorites, and as you go through and make up your favorites, okay, you put them in the order that you want. Just a little tip, when you add a favorite, it goes to the bottom of the list, or actually goes to the top of the list, I should say. So the way I usually create it is I start with the ones that I want to be at the bottom of my playlist or whatever it is, my favorite list, and I move my way up. I've made videos on this in the past, but really what this is, is really just a highlighting of my play call sheet okay so you see the you know corneas in the sideline and how do they organize their play call sheets well a lot of times it's down in distance right or by groups okay so you might just want to have a group of plays so what i did was i went through and i made a playlist here quickly as you see it going through fast of all the plays i think in the jim swartz defense that i like to run as my staple plays okay and also thinking about going into the future going up against offenses that quick snap the ball all right so there's a lot of offenses out there that will come up and just go 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 no huddle and some of the time some of the setups and some of the instructional things that i gave in the playbook are a little bit has maybe two steps you have to do all right or three steps right and that might be too much well what i did was is just go through and find especially when it comes to the pressures the stuff that's plug and play okay all the stuff that you can just pick up and go you don't have to make any adjustments or if you have to make an adjustment it's like one thing all right just have to move one guy right your user move them over to the right a little bit or just auto you know change one assignment something like that right so what i call this is the jim swartz light all right i call it light it's the light version of the playbook it's the core of the playbook though all right and honestly you could run these 57 plays that i have favorited here all right and run them and pretty much be set now you want to have the rest of your playbook ready to go in case you have a situation where you might need a little used play for a certain situation or for a certain opponent that's perfectly fine okay but what these favorites are are the ones that he likes to run all right, and in a certain situation. So if you guys jump onto that Patreon, I made a video for them today, going through this, it's about a 20 minute video for them, nothing crazy, but just going through the reason why I set up the way I set it up the way I did, um, all of the adjustments of like, you know, when to use it on first down, third down, whatever it might be. And then the reason why things are grouped the way they are, plus with the play sheet that you can download and look at the actual Excel play sheet of all the plays organized the way you want. So that's there for you guys. It's something new. Um, I, call, I called it the Jim Swartz Light. Okay, I'm gonna do one for the Wade Phillips. I'm gonna have the late Wade Phillips Light version of the playbook. Okay, and again, it's just a quick guide. All right, just like a quick watch the video, 15, 20 minute video, boom. Just that's it. You don't even have to really watch the video. The video kind of just sets you up and lets you know what you're going to do. And then you're going to be operating out of your favorite systems throughout most of the game. And that's going to allow you to play fast and start thinking about offense, for, you know, what the offense is trying to do to you. Okay. Um, not necessarily trying to think about how I have to get my guys adjusted. Okay. So I think this is really good for guys who are starting out. All right. So if you join that Patreon membership, that'd be there for you. And then the Wade Phillips scheme would be up tomorrow for you as well. 
plus the whole full scheme if you actually want to go get it it's still up there obviously if you join the membership um pretty soon i think after new year's i'm going to make them separate so like you have to get those things separately um and the membership is just for tips and all that stuff and little tips and tricks and learning the progressions of different defenses like cover three cheat and then i'm going to give you guys some more defenses that i know um going into the future all right so i just want to let you guys know what's going on that's up on that patreon right now and it's just an idea if you don't even want to be on the patreon just go through your favorite system man and just learn how to like use it the way it works for you and the one suggestion i would say overall don't make it too big all right because there are little things that can happen like for example if you change your playbook okay so if you're using a custom playbook and you change that playbook at any time to a different playbook and you play another game or you go into practice mode with a different playbook your order of operation the way you put these things in are actually going to change on your favorite sheet okay so it will stay the same if you keep your playbook the same but once you start moving around in playbooks it's going to change okay so just understand that like if i switch to the three four playbook right now wade phillips this whole setup here is going to be different okay but i have it recorded i have it down you know, it's pretty much written down for me, so I can just redo it. But that's also the reason why 57 plays, I don't mind re-inputting. But if you had 100 plays, it could be really hard, okay? All right, guys, just want to let you know what's going on. Appreciate all the support, all the YouTube support, man. Um, come join me on the Patreon, even if you just don't want to, even if you just want to support what I'm doing, it's all good. Um, there's different things over there, and I'll talk to y'all later, man. Have a good weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Peace.